In this video tutorial, we'll go through session navigation by using the main time scale and the sub time scale in your event edit area. Okay, let's get started. Currently in Pro Tools, you can see the playback position for this session is denoted based by the main time scale. Notice up top, we're in bars and beats for our main time scale with the location of bar 1, beat 1. So if I hit spacebar and go ahead and play my session, this is the location where I'll be playing back from. Notice the main time scale is always denoted in your ruler view as well as being gray. Your ruler view can have multiple views. Let's go ahead and show all for right now. Because all of these can be changed and your main time scale will actually follow along. Notice now I'm in minutes and seconds. Or time code. Or feats and frames. This can also be changed here within your main time scale flip down menu. You may actually have your session showing a sub time scale as well. Your sub time scale just gives you a different reference point. Here we'll choose minutes and seconds. Notice if I make a selection inside of Pro Tools, it shows me my start location as well as the length based off of the sub time scale. This position is also denoted here in this area called the event edit area. And this event edit area is really useful for a couple different purposes. We'll get back to the event edit area here in a moment. Now your main time scale, you can always navigate around your session very quickly and efficiently. We'll hit return, which will bring us back to the beginning of the session. And if we wanted to start off playing at bar 49, the numeric keypad asterisk symbol will highlight that first field. Bar 49, enter. We're immediately located to bar 49. If I wanted to make a selection here of eight bars, we could use our event edit area. Just simply navigate to the length field, put in the value of eight, and now I have an eight bar selection. Your main time scale you can always navigate around through your session while playing back in Pro Tools by simply hitting the asterisk symbol. So here I'll play back the beginning of the session and then we'll jump to bar 97. 97, enter. And we're immediately taken to that location in the session. So your main time scale will allow you to navigate around through your session, whereas your event edit area will allow you to make very precise selections. Let's say I need to do something at the bar 67. And maybe I need to have a full eight bar selection. I'll just navigate over to, let's see here, it's entering the value of bar 67. I'll use my up and down arrow keys. We'll actually change values. And then your left and right arrow keys will arrow over to a new field. Whereas your backslash key on your numeric keypad will move to subsequent fields like your start, end, and length and allow you to rotate through. So now I've made a very precise selection from bar 67 of eight bars long. So again, remember, this does not move any information. It's not the same thing as your spot mode. It simply reorients you for your selections. So the main time scale will allow you to navigate quickly and easily to a specific location, whereas your event edit area will show you very precise selections. Again, this does not move selections. It simply allows you to highlight or select a specified time length. This about covers everything that we have to do with our main time scale, our sub time scale, and our event edit area. Stay tuned where we have a lot more really great Pro Tools information for you.